In this video, we're going to be solving some past paper questions of the topic binomial theorem. Now, this time what I've done is I've, I've done something slightly different. I've gone an extra mile, basically. So what I've done is I've highlighted the key concepts that you are tested on uh, in binomial theorem, and I've sort of color coded them. So these are all my notes that I've made. And with every single concept, I've also done an example question next to it. So I would encourage you guys, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can download this and start practicing and uh, i will be updating it as i as i solve uh, as i make more and more videos on it but uh, as far as the notes uh, part is concerned that part is complete that part is something you guys can benefit from so here you can see i've divided uh, the topic concept wise when you have to find a certain term when you have to find the coefficient of x when x is in the second term when x is in both terms or uh, how to work with expansion of n and then the best part is after all that what i've done is i have a decent amount of uh, yearly past papers, oh sorry, topical past papers uh, of binomial theorem. Basically, I've extracted questions of binomial theorem and compiled them. And I've color coded these questions also. So like you can see here, this question is colored yellow. And if you go back to the front page, you can see that this basically deals with finding uh, x if x is in the second term. Find the coefficient of x if x is in the second term. And you know, just like that, you have the remaining concepts also. So this is a file that I will be constantly updating. I will leave a link where you can download it. And like I said, it's not 100% complete, but, uh, but you, uh, I, I'll be posting updates of it on my Instagram. So whenever there's an update, you guys, I'll let you guys know, and then you guys can download the updated version also. Anyway, so here we go. Let's uh, let's get straight to it. So it says find the coefficient of x squared and x cubed in the expansion of three minus two x to the power six, and uh, the the coefficients of x cubed are a and b respectively. Find the value of a upon b. So basically, here x is in the second term. This is something that you'll find very very often, and whenever you have x is in the second term, remember. As long as it's x power 1, r will always be the required power of x. So for example, if you want x square, so that means you'll plug in 2 in place of r. And if you want x cube, you'll plug in 3 in place of r. So if I plug in 2 in place of r, let's see what happens. So you have 6c2. Okay, I should write down the formula here. ncr, a raised to the power n minus r, b raised to the power r. So you have 6c2, 3 raised to the power 6 minus 2, which is 4 and then minus 2x raised to the power 2. So let's work this out using a calculator. So 6c2 is 15 times 3 to the power 4 times the square of minus 2, which is 4. So now I'm looking at 4, 8, 6, 0. Don't forget that you have an x square, but since we're just interested with the constant, so I'm not going to write x square, okay? Just going to get rid of it altogether. And then we're going to plug in 3 in place of 4, so we're looking at 6c3, 3 raised to the power of 3, minus 2x raised to the power of 3 also. So let's see what this gives us. 6c3 times 3 to the power 3 times minus 8. So we're looking at minus 4, 3, 2, 0 with an x cube. Now, I'm only writing x cube to you know make a point that this is the coefficient of x cube, but then we're getting rid of it. In fact, what I'll what do is I'll write it for both of them and I'll highlight it so that you know what's important. Okay, so now we have to find a upon b. So a, as the question says, is the coefficient of x square. So that means that's 4, 8, 6, 0, divide by the coefficient of x cubed, which is b. So that means 4, 3, 2, 0. So let's see, what do we have? 4, 8, and don't forget that we have a minus sign. So that means the overall value is going to be negative. So we're looking at 4, 8, 6, 0, divided by 4, 3, 2, 0. So minus 9 upon 8 is the value of a upon b. There you go. This question is done. And this I should mention is from major 2017, paper one, variant one. Okay. Uh, another important question is there is again from major 2017. And here you have to find the coefficient of x. And this I've highlighted green. So that means if we go back to the first page, this is basically referring to when x is in both the terms. Okay. You can see here that if x is in, whoops, sorry about that. If x is in both the terms, so this is what you use. Anyway, um, let's go back to the question. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So again, we're going to be using the same formula. So 5CR. This time, we don't know what the value of R is. So our objective is to find the value of R. 2x to the power 5 minus R. And then minus 1 upon x to the power R. So whenever we have x in both the terms, we kind of ignore everything else and just focus on x. So here's what I mean. 
I'm gonna completely ignore 5CR for now. I'm gonna ignore two and I'm gonna ignore this minus one, okay? I'm just focused on X and the powers that it has. So I'm looking at X to the power five minus R multiplied by, now this X when I shift in the numerator becomes X to the power minus one raised to the power R. And since we're looking for the coefficient of X, so that means I'm gonna set it equal to X to the power one. If we were looking for the coefficient of X square, I would have set it equal to X power two for cube three, for the term independent of x, this will also happen. That way, uh, in that case, I'll set it equal to x to the power zero. So now I'm looking at x to the power five minus r, and same bases are being multiplied. In fact, let's not skip a step. So x to the power minus r equals to x to the power one. So I'm looking at x to the power five minus two r, same bases being multiplied, powers are added, equals to x power one. So I ignore the bases, equate the powers, five minus two r equals to one, which means four, equals to 2r, which means r equals to 2. Now at this point, I would strongly suggest not to get carried away. You still need to figure out what the actual term is. We've just determined the value of r. We're gonna plug this value in the, in the formula and we're gonna figure out what the actual coefficient is. So we'll do 5c2, 2x to the power 5 minus 2, so that's 3 minus 1 upon x to the power 2. So 5c2 is 10. In fact, since I'm almost running out of space, I'll do it over here instead. So five C2 is 10 times eight. So we're looking at 80 X cube upon X square, okay? So this, when you simplify, we can see that this is indeed equals to, this is indeed equal to 80. That means what we've done so far is correct. And our final answer is 80. Now, this part is slightly more complex. In this, we have to find the coefficient of x in the expansion. And here again, you can see that I've highlighted this blue, which basically means that this is when two expressions are multiplied or added to obtain the coefficient of x. So here you can see that's exactly what's going on. We are basically multiplying two expressions to obtain a certain coefficient of x, which is, a, uh, which is basically x bar one. Anyway, so here's how this works. You have one plus three x square into two x minus one upon x to the power five. Now, something, one thing that we already know for sure is that in the expansion of two x minus one upon x to the power five, there is a term with x in it and that's 80. So that means we have one plus three x square and this expansion has a certain term which is basically 80 x. So that means if I multiply one by 80 x, I'm gonna get the term that has x in it. But at this point, we don't know for sure whether this expression, 2x minus one upon x, may have another term which basically has coefficient of one upon x, okay? Or basically has one upon x, okay? A term that has x to the power minus one or a term with upon x in it. And the reason why we need to consider that, the reason why that is important is because in the expression before it, the one that we're gonna multiply this expression with, we have a term which is 3x squared. And 3x squared, whenever it gets multiplied with a term that has upon x, it's gonna to reduce to, to three to the power x, okay? So that is why you need to make sure that you find out the coefficient of either one upon x or the term in one upon x in this expansion or x to the power minus one in this expansion. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So you have 2x minus one upon x to the power five. And remember what we're looking for is a coefficient of x to the power minus one, okay? Or simply one upon x. So now you won't have to do all the hard work all over again, because remember when I said that we're going to just ignore everything else and just focus on the x and the powers. And when we did that, we kind of knew what this word reduced to or, or what the x with power in terms of r would boil down to, okay? And we know that we'll have x to the power five minus r and x to the power minus r, okay? But this time we're not looking for the coefficient of x. Instead, we're looking for the coefficient of x to the power minus one. So that's what I, that's exactly what I'm gonna equate it to. So we have x to the power five minus two r equals to x to the power minus one. So again, we ignore the bases. Let's work with the powers. Five minus two r equals to minus one. Six equals to two r. R is equal to six upon two which means it's equal to three. Now that you have the value of R, this basically suggests that yes, there is a term which will give you an upon X, okay? Or X to the power minus one. 
So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this value of R and I'm going to plug it in so that I know what that term is. So here's what I'm doing, 5C3, 2X to the power 5 minus 3, which is 2, and minus 1 upon X to the power 3. Let's work this out. 5C3 is 10, square root of 2 is 4. Actually, I'm just going to do it directly, okay? So 5C3 is 10, square root of 2 is 4. So that means we're looking at 4X, sorry, 10 times 4. So that's 40X square upon X cube. And don't forget that the overall value is going to be negative. That means we're looking at minus 40 upon x because x square and x cube will reduce to x to the power minus 1 or simply 40 upon x. So this is basically what we were looking for. And now that we have it, we're going to plug it in. Actually, we're going we're gonna to write it over here. So we have a minus, let me just write that again, minus 40 upon x. Okay. Now let's multiply. So we have one times 80x. So let me switch to another color. So that's 80x and then 3x square when you once you multiply it by minus 40 upon x. So 3 times 40 is minus 120. And remember the x square upon x will simply reduce to x. So now we have 80x minus 120x, which is basically equal to minus 40x. And the final answer is going to be minus 40. Okay, so that brings me to the end of the question. Minus 40 is our final answer. And uh, so with questions like these, I should, I should again emphasize that you need to be careful. You need to watch out for these, these little, little uh, traps, I should say, and uh, make sure that you're not missing out on anything that's, that's important or that might give you the coefficient of, uh, that might give you the coefficient that's asked for in the question, okay? All right, so um, this is, but I've highlighted yellow. So I've done I've done a question similar to this. So I think I'm going to skip that. And instead, I would like to do. All right, so here's another question that I'm going to solve, which kind of revolves around the same concept. You can see that I've highlighted this blue, which basically means that this is a concept where you will add uh, multiple expressions or where you will be adding expressions to obtain a certain coefficient of x. Okay, and that's exactly what we're doing here. So the coefficient that we're talking about is the coefficient of x squared. So that means whatever I do, if the first thing I need to do is I need to find out, so first of all, in fact, I need to keep in mind that since we're adding two expressions here, so if we add x squared and x squared, so you know nothing's going to change, it's still going to be x squared. So my primary focus on, my entire focus is going to be finding out the coefficient of x squared in this expansion and the coefficient of x squared in this expansion. So we're looking at 6c2. Since we need the coefficient of x squared, that means r is or is going to be equal to 2, sorry about that, 2 to the power 4, x upon 2 to the power 2. So let's work this out. 6c2 is 15 times 2 to the power 4, which is 16. So we're looking at 240 x square upon the square of 2, which is 4. Yeah, so 240 upon 4 is what is 60 x square. Yep, so we'll put that on the side for now. Now let's focus on a plus x to the power 5. And in fact, there's no need to write the expression. So this time again, r is going to be equal to 2 because we want the coefficient of x square. So I'll switch to a different color. So 6c, sorry, 5c2 this time, a to the power 5 minus 2, which is 3, and then x to the power 2. So 5c2 is, is 10, if I remember correctly. Yep, it's 10. So we're looking at 10a cube x squared, and if it's just the coefficient we're concerned with, it's just going to be 10a cubed. So we have the two coefficients. According to the question, the coefficient of x squared in 2 plus x upon 2, the whole thing to the power 6, and a plus x, the whole thing to the power 5, uh, with a plus sign in between, is 330. So that means we need to add the two, 60 plus 10a cubed, and set it equal to 330. So 330 minus 60 is equal to 270. So I'm looking at 10a cubed equals to 270, which means a cube equals to 27, which means a is equals to 3. And there you go. This is another um, important concept that you're going to be dealing with. And this, I should mention, is a question from May June 2018, paper 1, variant 2. Okay. So again, I'd strongly recommend you guys to download this file, have a go at it yourself, practice as many questions as you like. And um, I haven't said this in a while, but if this content is helping, make sure to hit the subscribe button and do like this video and share it with your friends or whoever you think whoever you think can benefit from it. So anyway, I'll stop here. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.